What's up guys, it's Colin, and welcome back to another video on the Breaking Act channel, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my newest custom set based off of Season 4 of Stranger Things. But don't worry, there will be no spoilers in this video because it was made before the season actually released. By the way, this video was made in collaboration with Jaleel Bricks. He made all the figures, and I made the set and the renders. So anyways, let's just get started. The first figure in this set is Max. She uses the Padme Amidala hair in dark orange. She has a curious expression as well as the Monkey Kid headphone piece in black. Her torso print is of a light blue jacket and she has light gray mid legs as well as a 1x2 tile print of a cassette tape as her accessory. The second figure in the set is Mike Wheeler. He uses the Luke Skywalker hair piece in black, which I think they actually should have used in the original Stranger Things set, but that wasn't my call. Anyways, he has an angry expression on his face, his accessory is a flashlight, and his torso print is of the Hellfire Club shirt that he wears in some of the trailers. However, if you look closely, you can see that the demon on the shirt is actually a Legoized version of the one on the actual shirt, a really cool detail that I'm glad Jalil added. Next up is Lucas. He uses the Zane hairpiece from the Lego Ninjago movie in black, and he has a more scared expression than some of the other characters. He has his dark red jacket on his torso, as well as underneath that, a blue shirt. His legs are just light blue mid legs, and he has the same weird flashlight that is used in the actual Stranger Things set. Nancy's next, and she uses the Dolores Umbridge chair in light brown. She also has a quizzical expression on her face, as well as a torso print of a light gray sweater. Her accessory is a light gray flashlight, and she has some dark blue pants. The first of three Scoop Troop members included in the set is Dustin Henderson. He has a hat hair mold with a blue hat and light brown hair, he has a light gray hoodie and a light gray flashlight, and he has some black pants. Next up is Robin, and she uses the 11 hair piece from the original Stranger Things set in light nougat. Her expression can be interpreted as a lot of different emotions, but I choose to think that she's disappointed in Steve or Dustin for saying something really stupid. She's wearing an all black outfit, and underneath her jacket is a striped black shirt, and on her jacket are some buttons and badges and pockets. Her accessory is, once again, a gray flashlight. Now, the character we've all been waiting for, Steve Harrington. His beautiful, iconic hair is represented by the Han Solo hairpiece in dark brown. He has a goofy grin on his face and a light gray jacket on his torso. Underneath that is a dark blue shirt with some white and red stripes on it, and he has light blue pants as well as, you guessed it, a flashlight as his accessory, but this time it's red, very fancy. Finally, the last minifigure in the set is Vecna. Not too much is known about this guy other than the fact that he's presumably the main villain of this season. Now, the figure is all light gray except for the black vines coming out of his neck bracket, and he has a bunch of dark gray viney detailing all over his torso and his head. His eyes are two different colors, one of them is blue and one of them is gray, and he has an angry expression on his face. Anyways, now that we're done with the figures, let's move on to the build. And the build for the set is of course Creel House. On the exterior, you can see a bunch of moss growing on it, and all the windows are boarded up. You can also see a bunch of bats flying around, and there are a couple of trees, one on each side. The house is built on a base of masonry bricks, and there are a few stairs that lead up to a door that leads into the interior. Let's take a look at that. As you walk into the house, the first room that you see is the dining room, and Steve and Dustin are currently exploring it. As you look to the side, you can see that a table is resting on a carpet, and there are a few chairs around it, and hanging from the ceiling is a light yellow lamp that I used an eggshell to represent. Next to that room is a room with a brown table that has a light brown candelabra on it, and on the floor is a light blue lamp that was shattered on the ground. Yeah, I know there isn't much to this room, but when it came to making Creel House, there wasn't much reference material in the trailers, so I had to get kind of creative with some of the rooms. Anyways, moving up to the second story, we can see Lucas is exploring the attic. In front of him is the clock that is featured prominently in a lot of the trailers, and right in front of that clock is a portal to the upside down, at least that's what I think it is. Next to that is one of the things I'm most intrigued about for season 4, and it's Vecna. He's supposedly going to be the main villain, but I don't really know anything about him other than the fact that he's named after the most dangerous character in D&D, at least that's what I've heard. Anyways, he's surrounded by vines and things, and next to him is a crib, and in front of that crib is another one of the demo bats. So here's the full dollhouse view of all the rooms on the interior of the set, and here's what the set looks like all together with all the figures. And finally, this is the box art that I did for the set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because, as a lot of you may remember, I've been hinting at the fact that I'm going to be designing an entire wave based on a theme that I had yet to reveal until now. The theme of course being Stranger Things. I've had a lot of the sets done for a while now, some of them are still in the works, and some of them have yet to be started. So if you have any ideas of sets that you'd love me to make based off of Stranger Things, then make sure to comment them down below, and I might actually make them. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today, have a great day, and go build something awesome.